Ladies and gentlemen, Corrupted Strength Classic 2022, first annual. Just chopped it up with my boy Russ. We're here in H Town. I don't know where we are because Houston's so fucking big, but we're here in some kind of hotel. Uh, lifting's already started. We're about to get ready for the second session, I believe. Uh, we're here with the whole, the, all the boys, man. John, JP, Bart, Nadim's running around. All the other homies are coaching. Okay. Nigo and Joe are already in the mix. Uh, a lot of lifting going on, so we're going to see uh, probably some big lifts, man. I think there's some big-name lifters going on, and uh, see what the event's about. So stay tuned. Good man, energy's good in there actually. Energy's good. A lot of new faces to the sport, which is really dope. A lot of people, uh, I can tell they're younger, they're excited, and that's kind of what you need in any sport. You need some like, you know, fresh blood to be excited about shit. Uh, it just naturally happens in other sports where like NBA, you retire, then the new freshmen, the new rookies. But like in this sport, it used to be an old head sport. So now to come see, you know, like high school, college, I. Poor thing's running the meat. She's probably in her 20s. She's running the whole thing going crazy. Like, everyone's young and hungry. It's cool. That's what you need. Okay. A bit more diverse. Way more diverse. Yeah. Age, race, where they're from. That's good. Dope. I love the powerlifting community. Maybe even a little bit more than the bodybuilding community. I'm not going to lie. Just because whenever you go to a powerlifting gym, everybody hypes each other up. So, it's cool. It's like a little family. Even if you don't know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many powerlifting meets have you been to? Maybe two or three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's been a minute though, so I haven't been since college because I had powerlifting buddies. But this is the definitely the biggest one. I yeah, say, I don't think it would be fair to ask you to rank of what it. No, no, no. Okay, if I did have to rank it, this is number one yeah. for sure. Yeah, no, this is the biggest one I've been to. It's dope. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people here. Do you do you plan on going to like more powerlifting? Meets? I mean, if you guys invite me. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, I'll try. I'll invite you. I ever plan on powerlifting? Maybe, maybe. So after I'm done with bodybuilding. I'm probably not going to compete again, okay. so I want to go and do different things, you know, martial arts, maybe powerlifting. I, so I enjoy squat bench dead, so if I get strong and good at it and I don't embarrass myself, then maybe I'll do it. You know, maybe if uh, Tim and uh, Joe, you know, help me out, your <laughs> then I'll do something with that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Here we are today at the Corrupted Classic 2022. Okay. Yeah, here we are. How do you like it so far? Dude, I was, uh, I pulled Russ aside earlier and I told him, despite this being his first meet, this is probably one of the best, if not the best local meet that I've ever been to. Now granted, the last time that I was on Mike's channel, we were at Powerfest and granted that was an amazing meet that was run. But Russ and his team, like I talked to him, they ran into a few hiccups as any meet director does, we can tell you from experience. But, you know, him and his team, they really pulled it together. Gia's doing an awesome job. Hi, Gia. <laughs> but they're doing an awesome job and everything. And, yeah, I would say this is in my top three of local meets. Oh, you said top, top three. three. Top three. Okay, okay. Uh, do you ever plan on coming back? Yeah, so I was actually talking to the guys a little bit. And I'll always love powerlifting, whether it's as a competitor or someone that's just, like, trying to promote the growth of the sport. I'm going to come back to it. I, I kind of want to compete at least one more time before I turn 30, but then I take a look at guys like LS who are like mid-40s, and they're still PRing in the gym. So, like I said, I'll always be passionate about it. I want to compete at least one more time. Emphasis on at least one more time, because I've got I've got a vengeance for, for some goals. I was .01 away from becoming a pro, you know that? I It was Point, from your last meet, right? 99.99, and I needed 100. Cause I got called on down twice, so it's. Fine. I remember seeing that, that post. That's, that's, that's neither here. It's okay. But you're coming for it. I, I am coming for it. I I would like to get my pro card, and I'd be happy. I'd Tim be Tibido happy. The Tim Thibodeau the pro. Oh, I like professional that. Professional powerlifter. <laughs> TTPP. <laughs> TTTP. Tim Thibodeau professional powerlifter. <laughs> Do you like how diverse powerlifting has become? Give us how was it before when you like came into it. So, when, when I came into powerlifting, I would say it started growing a little bit because I would say this is during like the golden era of 
like YouTube or social media fitness. And this is when I started watching Johnny Candido. And if you go up to any power lifter that's around my age or has been competing as long as I have, chances are they're going to say Johnny Candido got them into the sport. And that's when, you know, a handful of people started signing up for USAPL and everything. But then you get more and more content creators on the platform, and especially today with TikTok. Like, I, I saw like a few very popular TikTokers competing in this meet today. I'm like, damn, we have something really special going on right here. I didn't know that powerlifting was going to get as big as it is today, which is really one of the things that I set out to do. I care so much about the sport that I don't necessarily need to, need to be the best competitor, but as long as the sport is moving in an upward direction in terms of growth and popularity, that's really all I care about. We're never going to be in the Olympics. That really doesn't matter that much. But as long as we get more of the general public competing in powerlifting, that's really all that matters. So I would say it's in a really good spot. I was actually talking to this, uh, this one kid today he came up to me, asked me for a picture, and I asked him, uh, you know, how he did it at the meet. And he's like, oh, I took a couple records, like the like the squat record, bench record, and the total record. And I asked him how old he is. The kid's 17. He's yeah. 17. Dang. I started competing when I was 21 or 22, and I told him that he's on a really, really good spot. And his generation, they're responsible for this upswing in growth right now in powerlifting. So it's in a really good spot. I know that was like a long, drawn-out answer, but... I'm, I'm just so passionate about the growth of the sport that it's awesome seeing the younger population competing. So, it's in a good spot. Thank you for all you do, man. We appreciate you, Tim. Appreciate you, man. Love you. We love you over here. Can we get the... There we go. Nice. at the end were crazy. It's been a long time since I've seen like, I don't even know, seven folks pull over seven in the same meet. Um, and they're not all big dudes. They're all like 100 kilo, 110 kilos. So sports come a long way, man. It's kind of cool to kind of, obviously I've been in a long time, but then we're coming back from like the COVID sleepiness, opening third street stuff. I've been a little locked down on the grind there and getting things flowing. So now we're back on the road and getting our faces out to not only see old friends, make new friends, people I've seen on the internet, but see how far the sports come. It's pretty crazy, man. So shout out to the Corrupted team, uh, Get Better Today, shout out to Russ, um, and the guys for putting on the meet, having us out here to hang out. Um, we'll catch you in the next one, though. I'm gonna go get some food, I'm gonna go to bed. I think we're gonna train with the boys, so stay tuned for more vlogs, more training here from Houston, H-Town. Be a part of something bigger than yourself, man. We have me, Sal Mike, we'll see you every Monday, Thursday.